What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bear Necessa TCG, and today we are opening a discount booster box of Digimon. So we have this $25 Next Adventure booster box. So I did buy another one of these before, but I already opened it. Normally, I just buy these to sell on TCG Player or eBay, but I really enjoy opening Digimon cards. I like the art. I like the game itself, but I haven't actually played it as much as I should. So I, I got an idea. My last video, I opened two booster boxes of Great Legends, and I already opened one of the Next Adventure ones, and I'm going to be opening this one today, but I had an idea. So I'm going to invite someone over. We're going to have 20 minutes to make decks just out of these booster boxes. And to make it more interesting, we're going to separate it. So the decks are going to be made by either having two of the Great Legends or two of the Next Adventures. No mixing cards, no extra cards. That's what it's going to be. I think that's going to be a fun way of me playing the game in a non-competitive level because Digimon has so many different cards out there and it's really hard to keep up with the meta, but in this case, you don't have to. You get the cards that you get. So let's switch over to card mode real quick. And my first thing about doing this was maybe I won't have enough of the Digi Eggs, but in the first box, this is what I have. So I have three of the Dorymons, two of the Kokomons, uh, Kepurimon, Koromon, Bakamon, and wait, hold on, I have two of those? Yeah, I didn't organize that well. So that's just from one booster box. I anticipate after opening this other one, I will have at least four of each of the colors. So not worried about that. And as far as the hits go from the last box, we have a Cherubimon, the alt art Cherubimon, Cherubimon um, which is Oh, man. I might want to keep this too. In my last uh, opening, there was another card that I wanted to keep. And this one, I believe, is around $3. But oh, I just love that one. Dark Knight Mon, Raisin Mon, Wereguru Mon, Emperor Grey Mon, Evan War Mon. And as far as the secret rare goes, Susanu Mon. And we have these promos that come inside the packs, which are really nice to have the tamers along with their Digimon. So off to a decent start. Absolute favorite card so far is this one right here. I just, it really pops off the screen. So let's get into opening this box. I'm looking mainly because of the whole challenge that I'm gonna do. I'm just looking for more Digi Eggs. That way I have enough to work with. And at $25, I'm most likely going to get my initial investment back once I list all these cards. So we have a box promo pack. One card per box. Let's see what we got here. And a red memory boost. That is... Actually, that's a nice one. I like this one. So we'll put that off to the side. Actually, we're going to sleeve it up real quick. I know memory boost are staples in some decks. So we'll put that on the hit stand. Our box topper. Off to the side. And let's start opening these and I'll get through them fast I know a lot of people just want to see the hits but I am thinking of what kind of deck I want to make I think so far I'm thinking a black deck might be the best way to go based on what I've pulled so far but who knows? I might end up with the Great Legend ones. So I'm trying not to overthink it, but I want to make sure that this will be a fun challenge. There's plenty of 
mix for the cards. Skull Nightmon. I got a lot of those in the last box. So I think it's enough to make the black deck. And I got the the Dorymon here. So I have four ready to go. But the ratio of these are so good that I think I'll be able to make whatever I want or whoever gets the actual next adventure boxes will be able to make whatever color. So I think this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm really going to enforce that 20 minutes. That way it's one of those throw something together and it gets that great casual play to it that I think a lot of uh, a lot of Digimon and other card games are missing. You don't really see too much of people just playing at the at the table, you know, using cards that are considered bad just because they like them or running different strategies. They're out there, you know. There there are YouTubers that do that, and I want to become one of them also. Because in the end, yes, I'm turning this into an actual business. One day, instead of me just buying boxes at $25, you know, here and there, waiting for them to sell and buying more, one day I hope to be able to see these sales and just buy 10 boxes, 20 boxes, and really fill up my store. Metal Greymon. All the... Greymons have really good art to them. I swear they're spoiling Greymon. Um, but for all the Greymon lovers, that's great. Me, I like more of the ghost looking ones, the ho anything that looks very Halloween y. I love and I would love to make a deck around that. Yep, yeah, another. Dorymon, I am stacked. I think with all these actual um, Dorymon polls that I'm getting, and it seems like there's a lot of SRs for black. I just, whoever gets, you know, assigned the next adventure, I bet you they're going to go black. Yeah, especially, I, I think I have, how many of these do I have? I think I have like four of them already. And a Hercules Kabuterimon. I actually have... Let me switch to the full screen real quick. Yeah, in the upper left right now, I have a display case that I made. And all those are Digimon cards. And I was just trying to test to see how they would look. But I think if I was to just do these, like put a set of the actual promo promos with the tamers, I think that'd be a really cool display. So looking for that. Still debating if I want to grade them and then display them. Now, I like graded cards. I like how they look as opposed to just putting them in just a magnetic case and things like that for display purposes. But I understand it can add up quite a bit. And it does hold me back sometimes when I'm looking at, I have a stack of cards actually, um, of Digimon, Pokemon, and Battle Spirits that I want to send in to get graded. But then there's a little voice that says, you know what? With that money you spent to grade, you could buy more booster boxes, <laughs> get more cards. And I'm kind of on the fence. I think as the channel grows, I will eventually start grading more. But right now, what seems to be happening for me is I have a uh, uh, alert set for AGS, PSA, and... CGC slabs under a certain price point that are ending soon. 
And that's how I'm getting my slabs currently. And, you know, if you wait long enough, you'll find a really good sale on there. I think I found, you know, I found some, oh, I don't remember what it was, but it was a secret rare and it goes for about $30, just raw. And I found one in a 10. It was an AGS 10. And it was going for about $20. And I missed out. I really wanted to get it. But then um, I was watching the time. And I was like, oh, yeah, in 10 minutes, I'll come back and I'll bid on it right before it ends. And I got sidetracked, completely forgot, and lost it. I think the winning bid was about $25. So they got a really good card. It, someone already paid for the grading service of it. So it's a super discount. And you can catch these. Now, some people will be like, why would you want an AGS card? If it's not PSA, it's not worth it. And I think that really depends. I like how the AGS slabs look. And if I wanted to sell the card immediately and flip, I can see the argument for not wanting it. I can see the argument for just being like, all right, we'll get the PSA and then your card will triple in price and things like that. But if you just want to collect and have a nice slab and have someone else authenticate it for you, I think AGS is the way to go. And they do have some promo codes as far as if you sign up using my link that's in the description, you'll get a percentage off and it helps me and my channel grow. So if you're interested, just click that. It'll be down in the description. But I think a lot of people just don't understand. Not everyone wants the, the value once it's graded to triple. Like, that's not everyone's thing. But what you can do, especially if you don't care, if you don't care about that number, like you know your cards are authentic and you don't care about the condition, you can just buy the same slabs. You can go on AliExpress and buy those slabs and encase them yourself. And it doesn't cost you that much. In the end, it's just plastic. You're really paying for, um, for someone's opinion, which... You know, sometimes it it shouldn't matter, but it does. You know, if you go try to sell a car and say, this is gem mint, this is perfect. Your opinion, while valid, someone else might have a different opinion of that card. And in comes a third-party grader. But, um, but grades are not the same. That's another thing you got to watch out for, too. And there's no way to prevent it. Because they're all being graded by a human. And yes, AGS does have an algorithm that they use for grading in their, their AI. And I do understand that someone has to make that AI. And if they make a mistake in the AI or they don't train it properly, then yes, it won't be as accurate as they claim. But I think it's a step in the right direction versus what other people are doing. So I fully support it. I know it's a startup for them and I'll, they're not businessmen right away. They're people who went on and they decided to open up a grading company. And this is not just AGS I'm talking about. This is everyone. At some point, someone was like, I'm tired of how the other companies do it. We can do it better. We love card games, so let's start a business. And imagine if you do that. Imagine if you started a even a, a card game or any business revolving around trading cards if you tomorrow did your research and made one you are going to run into so many flaws too just like they did you know and people are like oh this grader let through a a fake card well yeah that happens this you know grade doesn't match okay that does happen um, mistakes are always made in every business. So you got to, I think we need to cut a lot of companies some slack sometimes, especially when they're new until they get into the rhythm and 
and really practice their craft, PSA was probably terrible when it first came out. And now after years and years of tweaking, it finally is what it is today, a standard. But at the same time, it's a standard because the people make it a standard. So if your money, it could go anywhere. Let's say you wanted to pump up CGC and make them the best. If everyone switched and graded with them and made their prices higher, that would be the standard. But right now they're just doing with PSA. And we have a Harrisman. Really cute looking card. Oh, I want to keep this one too. I'm, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> Just look at that. I'm pretty sure this is an alt art. But I'm not. I'm almost positive this has to be an alt art. Just because it's a rare. It's got some actual. Um, it has a little texture foil on there. As opposed to let's say this rare right here. Definitely different quality. I actually want to see if the ability is any good. All right, level three, zero to Digivolve. And it's hard to read. It's easier to read on my screen. When this card is trashed due to activating the this Digimon's Digiburst, return this card to its owner's hand. Okay, so there's quite a few that have that ability. But really nice. I'm happy to see that. And I also wonder, why is this set $25? I don't know if the store is trying to just get rid of them because no one's buying it and it's just taking up shelf space. That's a possibility. And that's ideally what I'm looking for. When I bargain shop, I have bookmarks to all the different um, places I bought before that run sales and then just purchase from there. So I check, you know, I try to check every day, but life gets to me and it's hard because when you're doing this for a business, every single dollar matters. So if I got this box for 30, not a great deal. You know, not, it's a good deal, but it's not a great deal. And then I probably wouldn't have bought it. Ideally, I bet this box is $20 somewhere. And that's what I'm looking for. All right, and last pack. I almost forgot there was a pull tab on here. So last pack, and we have memory boosts. Get to oh, so much glare. Gotta watch where I put my hands. And ancient Beetleman, and nothing. Now, all right, when. When I say nothing, I don't mean that I didn't get anything good. It was just it's not a uh, super rare. It's not a secret rare. But a lot of these actual tamers go for a pretty good price. Even if it's a quarter, a lot of people are messing around with decks. They'll buy about uh, four of them, and it adds up. So I'm happy to see tamers. I'm happy to see some of the red red i don't i just looked at red and i said red sorry um a lot of the option cards so option cards sell for to players um the digimon themselves uh not not every digimon sells but i have it listed anyways for people that want to complete their sets they eventually do uh, but it's usually just the really good comments and uncommons that just fly off the shelf but I'm really looking forward to building these decks and um, and just seeing what I can come up with. I have a entire stack of digi eggs from this set. I can play any color I want, but the, we did see a lot of black cards. Um, let's switch back real quick. I just want to go over the hits one more time and see see what direction I would go. So a lot of the promo cards, I just want to throw those to the back. So it looks like we have, I, I know we have a couple metal gray mons, but I, we have more. Okay, I got to clean up this table. We just have to clean up this table, move this. That way we have a better look at what we have. 
We have our digi eggs. I'm not worried about that. We have plenty. So let's just split this up by actual colors. Let's move, move that around. And I do this every time I have to create a deck. Oh, sleeves, slippery. So we'll just throw the red memory boost in there. Phoenix Mon. Ah, I'm trying to do this quickly and I'm just losing my my place. Where's there we go? Purple. Alright. So with that being shown, we have four blue cards, four green cards. We have three, and they're all exactly the same of purple as far as the super rares go. And we have three black. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we got more. You know, we have more yellow but i don't count this one too well just because it is only a level three i mean it's a great pull but as far as your win condition level sixes we have four here and we have seven i'm gonna say six without that red memory boost a lot of war graymons in here emperor graymon metal graymon so uh, maybe I was wrong as far as thinking black would be the best to go with. It might be red in here, but the actual super rares, secret rares, all that don't tell the full story because they're not the only things that win card games. You know, sometimes it's a lot of the commons and uncommons and how you build it. And, you know, uh, for level six and level fives, it might be uncommon cards that you need in this deck, especially to win something like this, because you need that synergy. You can't just throw the most rare cards in there. Oftentimes, the rarer the card, the better it is, but it doesn't help unless you have the supporting commons and uncommons to build a deck. And that goes with every card game out there. But with all that being said, Thank you for the 160 subscribers. That is more than when I had my last video, and I love to see that. It is a live feed up there, so I'm still waiting for that to tick up one while I'm making a video. Still hasn't happened yet, um, but I'm going to take these cards, hopefully play some games tonight. I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing that gameplay too. Let me know in the comments if you made it this far, if you think that great legends will win or if next adventure will win i don't know i don't know what i have my money on but in theory the newer set should do better just because new mechanics um power creep all that stuff so thanks for tuning in and i'll catch everyone next time